Welcome to the Board Game Network Man Cave. I'm going to be talking about the rules to Transamerica today. This is a simple, simple game put up by Franz Beno Delong, put out by Rio Grande Games. He was the designer of this guy here. Um, only takes about 30 minutes to play. It plays up to six players, two to six. Uh, the goal is just to connect five cities. And this is, looks like a train game. It really is a train game, but it doesn't draw out like a lot of train games and take a long time. It's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, here's the setup. All you do is you take one of your start markers. Everybody's got a different color. You, st you take your starting train, you start them over here. Um, <clears throat> then each of these cities out here has a corresponding card. You'll notice also there's colors and those colors match the backs of the cards. So to start the game you just take one of each color card. You mix them around here and you take, well, here's a blue and here's a red and here's an orange and a yellow and a green. And there's my starting five cards. Everybody does that. You decide who's going to start the game and they get this start card. Then you look at your cards and you your goal is to connect those five cities before anybody else connects all five of their cities. Now you notice some of these have a dotted background and then the cities also have a dot around them, dotted background around some of the cities. Those are cards you remove if you're playing only two, to, two or three players. Otherwise, you leave all the cards in. And so my goal is, is to connect Bismarck, New York, San Francisco, Memphis, and Kansas City first before anybody else. So you, you put your starting marker, whoever the start player is, they pick a spot. They can either pick a city or a connection where the triangles connect. And then you start building track from there. And all you do is you build one or two track pieces each turn. So, and all of those pieces have to connect back to your start marker. So you can't on one turn build over here and then on another turn build over here. You can't do that. It all has to connect to your start marker somehow. You can, you can put one here and one over there. You'll notice some of them have two lines, a double line, and that counts as two. So you, if you pick one of those, you can only build one track. So if you're here on one turn, you could only put one down next turn because that's a double track. That's in the mountains. You'll notice that happens in mountains or maybe in some swamp area. It's more expensive to go through there, I guess, when you're building track. So whoever um, gets connected first, all five of their cities, they win the round. Now this game is played in multiple rounds. And the goal, you got a scoring track here. Here you set up this barrier here right at the end of the track. And so once you have all five of your cities connected, everybody just uses the same. Now you'll notice that everybody has the same color track. Well, what, that, what does that mean? Well, what that really means is once somebody else builds track and it gets connected to your track, you can use it all as one track and count it as connecting to your cities. As long as it connects your cities, it counts. So you can, when you're starting your game, take advantage of trying to figure out where would be a good place to start so that you build your track that you need and let other people build track that they need that advantages you. So once you connect all five of your cities or somebody connects all five of their cities, the round is immediately over. You don't get to finish the round or anything. The round is immediately over and you look and see how many um, track pieces that it would take for you to finish completing all five of your cities if you haven't. And the double markers count as two. The double tracks count as two. So you add up and you may have, oh, I don't know, I, it would have taken me four more. So if that's the case, 
You take and move, I'm playing green here, move that forward four spaces on this track. So the winner, the person who has, who gets done first, he's gonna, his marker's gonna stay at, at zero, obviously, because he didn't, he completed all his, and everybody else is gonna move forward based on how many track pieces they would have had left, how many they had left before they would have finished. So after a round, you may end up with something like this. And then what you do is you clear the board off. You reshuffle the cards out here. The starting card moves to the left. So now the, that person is now the starting player. You draw five new cards and you keep playing. So this plays in multiple rounds until somebody gets past this barrier. Now after the second round, after you've, somebody's won twice, you may have some pieces move forward like this. And if nobody is within two of this barrier, you move this barrier up to where it's two away from the person with the least number of points. So that shortens the game. If, if you've got some really good players and they're staying back here, this barrier moves up toward them. However, if somebody's back down here on the one or the two space, then that barrier just stays there, or the three space. And so you just pl keep playing until somebody passes the barrier, the game's over, and whoever's the farthest back with the most number of points is the winner. So he is the person who's played the best and uh, maybe won the most often or had the least number of pieces left to finish, least number of track to finish the game more times than anybody else. So that's how you play this game. It's very simple. It's a great game to play while you're waiting for some people to show up. Or um, if you just like short games or you only have a few minutes to play. 30 minutes and this game is pretty much a, uh, over at that point. So um, I hope you enjoy this game. Let us know if you actually already have this and how much you like it. We've played it a lot. You'll notice my cards are kind of warped and bent and uh, our family has played it several times. So uh, that's how you play Transamerica.